When creating buttons in SeedProd, you have many customization settings to play with. SeedProd will even change the text on your button to white or black automatically based on the background color of the button. In this video, I wanted to show you how to take control of your button text color for each sentence, word, or even letter. SeedProd is a drag and drop WordPress website builder that makes it simple for anyone to build landing pages and full websites with zero coding. Please visit seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. Let's get started. So here we are inside the WordPress dashboard and I have a clean installation of WordPress and all I've done is install SeedProd. You can head to seedprod.com and select the account that makes the most sense for you. So there's different features under different plans here that you can look at. And once you have an account, you can come over to login to download the plugin and you can install it. If you need help, I'll leave a link in the description to how to install SeedProd. Once you have SeedProd installed, I'm going to come over to landing pages. We'll just create a, a quick sample page here and I'll hit add new landing page. Now here we can choose a new page template. Seedprod comes with tons of landing page templates as well as theme templates as well with our new theme builder. In this example, I just want to show you how to modify the text on buttons. So I'll select a random template here and I'll just call it buttons and we'll save and start editing the page. So if we click on the button right here, we can see that this is a pre-made button. We also have the button block. If you want the default one, we could drag another one in here. So here we can select this and we have the button text that we can edit here. So you could update this, my custom button. Then you have some subtext that comes underneath that if you want to add more text. You can link it, align it, size, icons, all of that. We also have templates here as well. So the cool thing about SeedProd is when you change the background color, if it's a dark background, it'll automatically turn to white. And if it's a light background, it'll automatically change to black. It does that for you completely automatically. So if we come under the advanced tab for the button, and come to background color you can see if i change this to white this turns to black if i change this to black it turns to white and that happens for any color now under the advanced tab we have the background color that we can change and we can do the border color as well so we can put a little white around that if we want but there's no actual option to change the text to take full control over it so what you want to do is come over to the content tab for that button and you have a little option here for the toolbar toggle let's open that now we have two new options for text color and background color. Now this is the background color for the text, not the button. So if we highlight the text here, we can actually change the color to whatever we wish. So we can just select say yellow, that'll change it to yellow. You can actually select just a specific word if you want as well and highlight that to change it. So you can have a mix of text colors inside that button. To remove it, you can just open this again and hit the little X here and that'll go back to the default. And of course the background color here as well, you could put that if you like. You could play with the different combinations if that makes sense for you. Now these are the preset colors here, but if you want to get real specific, you can click on custom. This will open the color slider so you can get more refined with what color you want to use. Once you're happy with your changes, go ahead and save it and you can preview it. And there you go, you're all set. That's how you can change and modify and take complete control over the text color of your buttons. Now that you know how to fully customize text color on buttons in SeedProd, maybe you would like to check out these videos on creating a Disney Plus website clone or a Spotify website clone. By the end of these videos, you will be well on your way to creating incredible websites. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.